Okay, so time to create the database. I decided to simply call it blog. It's just the most simple name I could think of, but of course you're free to name it whatever you like. So first categories. This has two fields, namely an ID and a name. So let's start with the ID. Now we do not need many categories. I have seen sites which have over a hundred categories, but I think it's very unlikely that you will ever need so many. But just in case we'll make this three characters long, but you really don't need any more than this. Of course, primary key and auto increment. I explained this in the MySQL series, so if you don't understand what this means, please by any means refer back to those videos. Next we have the name, which is going to be a varchar field of at most 24 characters long, and we'll want this to be unique. We do not need duplicate category names. And that's all there is to it. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, we make this 24 because category names generally should not be very long. They should be short and they should be descriptive. That can be done in one word and there simply aren't many 24 character long words. So that's all there is to the categories table. Let's now create the posts table. Remember this has five fields, the ID, the category ID, the title of the post, the contents of the posts, posts, post, sorry, and the date at which it was posted. So once again let's start with the ID. This is going to be an integer and once again I doubt you'll create thousands and thousands of posts. But in case you want to expand on this and allow multiple users or whatever features you want, we'll just make it six. But I think that's really, really stretching it. Anyway, primary key, auto increment, done. Category ID is exactly the same thing as the ID in the categories table, so we'll give it a length of 3. Remember that here we are using the relational model. We could um, enforce this with InnoDB, but you might not have this set up, and we're, well, it just makes things unnecessarily complicated for the sake of this tutorial, so we're just going to stick with this, with the my ISAM. Don't really know how to pronounce this. Either way, don't worry too much about what I just said. Next, post title, varchar. Now, some people forget to specify a length here and just assume that the max is used, but you need to specify a value here. And we're just going to stick with 255. Titles can get pretty long, so it's fine. Then we have contents, which is going to be a text field. And we don't need to specify a length here, so we're just going to leave this default. And then we have date posted, which is, uh, where is it? Date time. And here we're going to specify a default value and we're going to make it 00 dash double zero dash quadruple zero how do you say that and then basically the same with colons so basically we have day month year then hours minutes and seconds 
The reason we use this as the default date is because we are going to use a function within MySQL called now, which stores dates in this format. So this is a good practice. Now let's save this. And there we have it. Now, I'm just five minutes or so through this video, but I think I'll just keep things a bit organized and start coding in the next part. So, see you there.